Hare Om. Mm. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the number one principle of Ayurvedic medicine. And if you know this one principle, it's really all you need to know. It's very simple. This one piece of wisdom is going to empower you to know exactly what to do and when to do it regarding food. What food you should eat, about diet, about your health, about your relationships, about any area of your life. By applying this one principle, you gain a lot of control over your own health and well-being. Hmm. Now the beautiful thing about this principle I'm about to share is that it helps you to put yourself right back into direct contact with your innate intuition. Because the Shakti Challenge is all about recognizing that you already have the wisdom and knowledge within you. And all we are doing is learning how to tap back into that wisdom and that source, all the resources that you already have within you. And this one principle helps to do that. And it is this. Are you ready to share that like increases like? Now what that means is if you have spicy food and you add more spice to it, it increases the spiciness. Common sense, right? If you're in a heated argument in a conversation and you add something that's going to be more triggers for that person, it's going to increase the heat in uh, energy of that argument. So it makes it makes sense. It's common sense. And that's the beautiful thing about Ayurveda. It's very common sense. Right? So how do we apply it? And you can apply this to your relationship, your health, or being in your empowered self. And it's this. Number one, just check in with yourself. Come back in your thin here and ask, how do I feel right now? Then you ask, how do I want to feel? And number three, what will increase that likeness of how you want to feel and be? Whether it's in your body, whether it's energy, or your relationship. If you're in a certain relationship and you're having a hard time, you have to ask yourself, well, where am I right now? First, just embrace where you are. Say, okay, I see where I am. Where do I want to be in this relationship? How do I want this relationship to be? And then you now connect with vision. And knowing vision is the first step of manifestation. And then three, you ask, what will increase the quality of that in my relationship? Whether it's a partner or in the workplace, a friend, person on a bus. You ask those three things. Where is it now? How do I want it to be? What will increase that likeness? Now, understanding the six stages of disease. The first stage is you have healthy food cravings. You have healthy impulses in relationships. In later stages, you have unhealthy ones. You have more reactive impulses. So you, what's a really important and effective technique is first, step into your empowered self. Do that meditation. Feel it in your body. Feel it in your whole presence, your being, your heart, your mind, stepping into your empowered self. Because once you're there, you kind of come back to that healthy state. You come back to an empowered state, so you're going back to healthy cravings. You're coming back to your wisdom and the knowledge you have within yourself. And once you're there, you ask, okay, here I am. Where do I want to be? What will increase that likeness? It's very simple, it's very common sense, but the element is you have to apply it. And when we are feeling agitated, when we're feeling stressed and challenged in our life, we often are coming into our empowered self and so we are reacting from an imbalanced state. In an imbalanced state, we have unhealthy cravings. So first, come back to your empowered self and deliberately ask those three questions. What will, where am I at? Where I want to be? What will increase the likeness? You already do this all the time. You're already applying it in micro levels in the foods you eat. Like, why do you choose one food over another? Or one beverage over another beverage? Whether you go for a walk or for a run is because you are already applying these principles. But the moment you bring it into a greater awareness of what it is you're doing and take that into like challenges of your relationship, your workplace, or whether it is how do you live in your power itself, it's a game changer. So, again, step in your empowered self, apply these three questions, and you're going to gain so much greater control and ease in every area of your life. Apply it, gauge your results, and share them with me and, and on the forum. All right.
So again, my name is Chibi Tokoa. Honored to serve you. Arigatou.